Mm -hmm. Once again, another career high for Michael Wiley. Third week in a row he does that as the Buckeyes take the field against the Missouri They came Tigers. out of here. You can tell they're going to gamble early. It's fourth down, and we've seen them do, we've seen them, uh, do this in, in previous films. We just need to make the tackle right there. They gain a first down on punt formation. There's a nice tackle right there by Niall Diggs, number 32, young linebacker. Andy Catchmore had a good ball game. We'll talk a little more about Andy later on. Here's Michael Wiley, the first time he carries the ball. You can see good blocking. Michael's running real tough, north-south running, picks up 11 yards in the first half. Mixing it up with the pass as well, throwing it out to Miller for a 14-yard pickup to the right and side. David Boston's blocking out of, in, in front of him there. D. Miller's a real good football player, number 15. Good block by David Boston, number 9. Now, the guy who throws the block gets some rewards as well. Right, he got him open. This is this is David Boston catching the ball for a first down. They were playing us man coverage, Jeff, in the secondary. I don't think he can do that. We had a good did a good job, I think, throwing the football. Here's Michael again, real good blocking, and uh, goes in for the first touchdown. 21 yards for the touchdown and a seven to nothing Ohio State lead right off the bat. What is three with with Michael there? <laughs> well, I tell Michael next week when I when I see him, get get in the huddle, act like you've been in the end zone. Here's a big play. We need to hit these. Uh, David needs to hold on to the football. The official made a nice call. During the ball game, I thought maybe he was down, but he was not down. That was a good call. This set up their touchdown. They, they, they got the ball in real good field position. We've got to do a better job securing the football. Next up, Missouri. One this, of the few passes, just 11 on the game. Yeah, he, he, actually, this is a great play. This is, he's a lot more dangerous running the football than he is throwing the ball. This is Corby Jones. I was really impressed with his courage during the ball game. He took a pretty good pounding, but really came back and played a good, a good football game against us. That set up, uh, that set up uh, you know, their first touchdown. That would tie the game a little later because Jones takes it again. Again, a dangerous quarterback. Great, great play. Watch, it, watch him here. Watch the effort. Goes up over top from about the five-yard line, leaps in the end zone for a touchdown. Seven to seven at this point. Missouri hanging tough early in this ball game. Now they're hanging tough, and we give, them, we give them a real good situation right here. Michael Wiley, again, breaks this thing down the field, Jeff, and real nice run. Michael's got the real good speed. I was a little surprised to see him get caught there from behind. Uh, set up uh, what, what should have been a touchdown. We had to settle for a field goal here. Dan Stoltz from 27 yards away and a 10 to 7 Buckeye lead. Good to see Dan kick uh, a lot better this week. Uh, made both of his field goal attempts kicked off pretty good for us this week. Devin West, seven yards on this carry. Good tough runner. This guy was leading the nation coming in here, number 26, our running back. Good, good tough north south runner. Uh, good tackle right here. No, we did not get him down on that one, but that was a fourth down play, and, uh, and we, we, stopped, we stopped Missouri's offense. Now you got Benji Gilbert. We got, in there at fullback. We got Ben playing fullback. A little bit banged up right there. Sean Penny uh, missed the ball game. Might miss, a, might miss the rest of the season. But we put Ben Gilbert in at fullback, and he did a nice job. Number 64. All right, Joe Germain keeps here, scrambles. Joe put, uh, put both hands on the football. Ball security. We fumble the ball, and they pick it up. And I, I, I want to say this is a cheap touchdown. It's really not. You can score more ways on defense than you can on offense. But their uh, number five does a good job scooping the ball up and runs the ball in the end zone for the touchdown. Now, at that point, Missouri takes the lead and, uh, you know, a lead on the road. You don't want to let them hang with that too long. They've got us backed up here, and uh, I'll tell you what, I think a real, a real credit to our offensive football team. Keep their, maintain your poise, run your offense. Joe Montgomery down the sideline here. Stay inbounds, Joe. Dip your shoulder, run over number one. Joe's a north-south runner, a punishing runner. I'd like to see him stay inbounds. 24 yards on the pickup from Montgomery. Sets up a 36-yard field goal. 14 to 13 as we leave the field here at halftime. Now, Coach, first time that you have... Cotton get a great hit on their quarterback, an adjustment that was made in halftime. Really, there was no option. If, if the quarterback kept the football, he's going to get hit in the second <laughs> half. Here's a good example. This is a pass. Uh, you can see we got... Uh, that's Antoine Winfield, number 11. I, I tell you, he continues to make plays for us. What an outstanding football player he is. Sacked the quarterback. Corby Jones loses five yards there. We come back on a, a little quick pass right there from uh, Joe to David. David had a nice ball game, nine, nine receptions for over 100 yards, 112 yards. Then your here's, man, Michael here's Wiley. Here's Michael. Again. This is a big play in the ball game. Great blocking at the line of scrimmage, 29 yard run. You can see Michael really securing the football. Really proud, proud of the way he's played in the first three ball games. Starting to break things up a little bit. And then, of course, the depth comes into play with Montgomery. Put Joe Montgomery in the game. And uh, again, the offensive line played well throughout the course of the ballgame. I thought they really came out in the second half and dominated the line of scrimmage. Gave Joe some nice running room. Back to the well with Montgomery. Yeah, and he walks in for the touchdown. Good blocking. You're going to see David Boston getting a good block, number nine. Good to see our wide receivers blocking downfield in this game. Two point conversion now. Yeah, we're down right there, and we, you know, we have a chart that tells us to go for two, and you can see David's wide open. Joe gets the ball to him. Get, get the ball in zone, David. That put us up by seven. 
gets it back to 21 to 14 at that point. So you're on schedule as far as uh, touchdowns and extra points. Are right. Considered. Here's what I'm talking about. Watch that hit by James Cotton. I'll tell you what, he put the hurt on that quarterback. He didn't want to get up, but you know that's similar to the hit that Andy put on him in the, in Columbia last year. Two Good years to, in a row, a big hit impacts this game. Good to see James Cotton playing well for us right there. Here, here's a key play. Joe Brown, that's a fourth down play, Jeff, and Joe Brown strips the ball, and you're going to see a mid plumber come in. That is one of the key plays in the ball game right there. They, they had an opportunity to go in and tie the ball game up. Jermaine on, up top offense. to Miller. Here we go. Yep. Get the ball outside, and again, David Boston did a nice job blocking right there. D. Miller picked up 12 yards in the first down. We threw that little quick pass. They were playing us a three deep uh, in, in the secondary, and that, uh, that's an effective way to attack that three deep zone. 21 to 14 and 400 yards of offense to this point. Ah, good job, big. Come on, big John. Put the ball away. We hit the big tight end. He fumbles the ball, and Joe Montgomery, what great hustle coming out of the backfield, number 33, fortunately recovers the fumble, and this allows us to go on in and, and get a comfortable margin here. Montgomery good, again to good, Wiley. Good blocking. That's what we call a, a counter play. And uh, uh, that was Mike Gurr, number 65 at left yard. Did a nice job kicking out on their defensive end. Michael Wiley put the ball in. So. Wiley's second touchdown of the game. 209 yards on the ground for Wiley. Great day for him once again. Again, the defense comes out here. There's no there's no option. You're going to have to pitch the football. And Niall Diggs did a good job running outside. Uh, Fred Puggage worked with those linebackers. Nice job. Andy, Andy Cashmore, of course, had an, out, an outstanding game. Niall Diggs and Jerry Rosinski both played well. Good to see Reggie Germany. Reggie's from St. Louis. He was a player of the year in Missouri a couple of years ago, so it's good to see him have a good ball game. And again, Germany once again, 12-yard pickup on this play. Reggie Germany, and we're going to put a young, a young rookie back in here. Actually, he's a redshirt freshman. Come off the bench here, Derek Combs. Put the ball in the end zone out of Grove City. Good blocking. Matt Keller gets a good block, our fullback. Guard gets a good block tight end. Steve Wisniewski gets a block. And again, uh, Derek, uh, Derek Cole football is on for touchdown. Everyone, uh, once again, towards the end of the game, anyway, gets in the game. Derek Combs uh, getting the job done. I'm trying to tell that official, go ahead and signal touchdown. How come it takes you so long? Here, <laughs> I love to see our defense get after him like this. Jerry Rosinski, right there, Gary Berry, number one, out of DeSales High School. Jerry, of course, out of Dayton. Uh, Fred uh, Puggett, our defensive coordinator, came with an all-out blitz. And if you don't throw the football, it's hard to handle that, that, that kind of pressure. And that was party time in the shoe at that point, a 35-14 to 14 final. Now